Hi guys, my name is Night Angel and welcome to Don't Die Minerva. This game is developed by Xaviant and it is a roguelite adventure ghost fighting game. It is currently out on Steam, but it is only in the early access stages. So look what I have in store for you here and make your judgments to buy this game or wait. This game is a third person top, top down view and has a lot of exploration elements in the game. It reminds me of a hardcore Luigi's Mansion game, and I think some of us enjoy this kind of game rather than a kid-friendly game sucking up ghosts as Luigi. If you're wondering if this game has some horror elements, then worry not, because other than some unsettling elements in the game, it is more of an adventure game and not a horror game at all. Another thing I want to mention before we start is that this is an early access game. I recently uploaded a video on Day of Dragons. If you don't know anything about that game, I'll have a link in the top right corner for you guys. But what I want to say is that this is an early access and this is what it's supposed to look like. Not like not that beta thing that Day of Dragons has to offer. So now that everything is out of the way, let's just jump right into it. So there is a difficulty mode here, but hard is locked, easy of course, but uh, why would I want to play on easy, right? Uh, so after you beat the game on normal difficulty, you can play on hard, uh, hard gets unlocked, and then there's also very hard back. Okay, so uh, let's just go play. So uh, recommended is to use a controller to play this game, but I am playing on PC here. Uh, okay, so where where is this place? Mom, Dad, where are you guys? My head hurts. I think I'm lost. Hey, it looks like the lights are on in that spooky old house. So. You can move with WSD and uh, the mouse, it's mouse control. Over here, uh, this, it's light, you have a flashlight just like in Luigi's Mansion. So, uh, yeah, so these pumpkins, uh, you can break them. So your flashlight is like more useful than you think. It's not basic. Basically, it's not just a flashlight. And uh, so, rather than a actual 3D, it's more of in an axon axonometric game. Uh, because I can't turn my camera around. So yeah. Okay, so you can also. Uh, left click to move your character but i prefer wsad mr butterworth ah you must be minerva i'm butterworth quick now I'll, i'd offer you tea but there's really no time to get acquainted you're still alive but that won't last long not here at shallow grove if you want my help i'll need you to fetch something for me do you see that elevator? It will take you as far into the house as your skill and courage will bear. Oh, use your flashlight to harvest essence crystals, but beware the master's pets. They detest intruders. Somewhere in the house, you'll find a fountain. It will carry you back here. Bring me some essence and we will talk more. Quick now, child. There's not a moment to lose. Oh, and one more thing. Don't die, Minerva. <laughs> That's basically the title of the game. So that this is basically what's the whole premise of the game. It's uh, do not die in the game. Uh, since it is a roguelite, it light, not like. But uh, so all your upgrades are permanent. They do carry on over death. But obviously you will die in this sort of, this kind of game. Uh, so, uh, so this guy, Mr. Butterworth, is 
has all of the upgrades oh, okay there we go so there are so head healthy uh so right now we don't have any essences of course so uh, these are all of the upgrades that we can use. We can spend essences to do. And uh, so uh, I'll look more into the upgrades once once we actually get some essence. Okay, so call elevator. Just give me a second. Open gift. Level one monkey. So we get a monkey. Have to equip. So we can call a monkey here to help us fight, basically. Wow, we get started into the combat already. Okay, so you have to hold. I have to be really close range. As you can see, the combat is actually really difficult uh, if you're not used to it, at least. Uh, there is a map down here, I think. I think that is a map. Oh, uh, so these are the essences. Now, okay, I guess I'm going this way or this way. So uh, throughout the game, you will be able to level up your pets, your like these defensive turrets, if you will, uh, your stuffed animals. So we can go down, or we can go up here. Okay, so as you can see, there are uh, the what are these called? The openings, right? There are openings on this on the map showing you where you can go, uh, what paths are available. So you can destroy all the pumpkins. Currently, I haven't figured out what the destroying the pumpkins do. There we go. Okay, so now uh, this is a key room. So I found the key to access the next floor uh, of the elevator but I can also explore this floor um, thoroughly before I go down to the next floor just so that uh, I can actually get a bit more like stuff a bit more uh, upgrades like coins or essence whatnot uh, so they do have the oh okay so if you walk 
I think this is a really good touch. If you walk uh, on top of the ghosts, it does leave a footprint. <laughs> you do have a good footprint on where you visited the ghost. Uh, on where you stepped on the ghost, so that's a really good detail to have. Ruby, rare ruby. Okay, so this is a gem. So uh, these are rare, like the, so. There are gems, uh, several different types of gems in this game that you can use to upgrade your either your flashlight or your monkey or your stuff animals. There are uh, several stuff animals that you can uh, have too in this game. So burn damage plus one fire attribute plus 32% burn damage plus 25% effect duration burns the target with a chance to plant a bomb. Okay, I'm gonna equip it in, uh, over here the flashlight. Open chest, steel toed kicker, default boots. Oh, so this is a boot. Plus seventy, plus seven percent chance to dodge, and plus one. I don't know what that is. A uh, light attribute. It may be light. Physical. Default boots. Okay, so we do replace our uh, equipment. We can pick up, pick the uh, the default boots, but I think this stoke, stoke steel toed kicker is uh, much better. Okay, so I see that I just noticed that uh, our health is up here, and this is the mana I guess I'm not sure how um, how to gain health is there a way to gain health ow Wow, I took it under the hit. Okay, so... Um, I'm just worried that I might die here now. Open large chest. Well, this will definitely be a fight. It looks very like, very much like a fight. Let's go. Oh, it's not the fight. Level two monkey. Level one tough sack. Plus fifty nine percent maximum energy plus twenty eight percent maximum health. And one light attribute. Uh, light bulb. Light bulb cannon. Oh, so the ruby does come out, and I can just use the ruby here again. So we just basically upgraded our uh, equipment, everything that we have. And then we can go back. And then we can explore this way. What's this? 
must be the fountain Mr. Butterworth told me about. Now what? So we can throw in a uh, throw a coin into the fountain, so that this thing comes up, and then we get transported. Back here. There you are. Do you have any essence for me? If so, I think I can put it into good use for you. I see you've been reunited with one of your stuffed friends. The magic of this place does have its charms, to be sure. A few tips, my dear, if you'll permit me. Always be dashing. A well-timed dash is the key to avoid danger. You needn't always aim your torch uh, flashlight in the same direction as you run. Try aiming one way and trotting in another. Rely on your friends. That stuffed pet of yours is the good for you more. It's good for more than a comforting hug. Deploy it in the heat of battle. Oh, okay. Space is the dash or roll, so we can upgrade. Now we have four essence to spend. Uh, so each one of these costs, I think, one essence to use. So we have healthy living exit. Uh, will offer an opportunity to replenish a small portion of your health. Must fully purchase to unlock. Unwanted items can be recycled into coins. Don't spend them all in one place. I think, I think this is a good, good one to get early on in the game. Coin purse of internet. Uh, though your soul may die, your fortune endures and retain up to two hundred fifty coins in the event of your demise. So we can get some coins here, but it does take 25 to unlock. Okay, so I guess yeah, when you die, your coins uh, will will drop if you don't have this, and I think your essence will also drop because if you don't spend it here, it's gonna drop. Make or break. To make an omelet, X must be broken. Destructible objects have a chance to yield loot. Use your flashlight to unlock secret doors that lead to untold riches. Lighting the way. Uh, lazy children's map. Tired of running to and fro, your map can now be used to instantly travel to any previously charted room, as long as no ghosts are present. Bizarre. Bazaar, um, Shadow Grove's reclusive vendor will now stock an additional table of wonders goods for your shopping pleasure. Okay, so we only have four essences. Uh, we can dump it into here or dump it into healthy living just so that we can explore the map a bit more. Okay. Anything else you want to say? Essence crystals can be used to make your stay here easier. Once you spend them, even death cannot rob you of them. So that so death do uh, so you do drop your essence when you die. That's uh, a thing to keep in mind. Okay, I can return. Okay, so here's the vendor. Greetings, young lady. Your coin is always welcome here. So here's uh, where you vendor coins. Medium health pickup. Uh, level 2 light bulb cannon. Level 2 steel toad kicker. Uh, I can purchase this. Yes, get some health here. See more items. So the see more items is basically reroll. So you, so we can spend some coins rerolling, but we don't have any coins. I should want to leave advice. Spend any essence crystals before you go. Each fountain can only be used once. 
Uh, yes. So we spend our essence uh, crystals and all our what's the other uh, coins. So I think we are ready to head down to the next floor. But I think there is another room to explore. So these boosts they do stay. So oh, there is uh, another room here that we can explore. What? Okay, there is a there's a delay in this for this weapon. Okay, so I have to hold it. Alright. I can't destroy these, but they won't have anything just yet. So these um, weapons, they are different. Have uh, their own perks, I guess. Oh, what? This thing is live. All right, I have to cross this. Alright, next row. Ow. Ow, I took another 15. Okay, there's more to explore on this map. Okay, there's a chest. Got some money. I mean, if I if I die, my money goes away. So, ugh. I just have to not die. I just have to not die. Yes, I made it. So some of these, they do carry bombs. And they... They do... Uh, explode when they die. So be careful of that. So these uh, gems, they come in four different uh, rarities. So common, as you, see, as you see here in the amethyst, and rare, as you, you see in the ruby here, and then there is epic and legendary uh, gems. And there are several different types of gems that you can get. Uh, I don't remember what uh, all of these gems are, but we'll, we'll, get, we'll look at them once we get them. So over here we have plus 90% energy regen speed arcs to nearby enemies with a chance for a shock wave. Sure. So, so we have uh, I think light, fire, ice, and lightning. Maybe. So this is a nice touch uh, having these uh, 
grayed out what, uh, so that you can actually know where you are. Some of these, no oh, nice health. Some of these uh, games with a top-down view, axometric view like this, they don't gray out uh, the thing. Instead, they have your character blurred out instead. Uh, so that is, it's like kind of it's. A, it's less ideal in that, like that, because at least uh, in my opinion, it's less uh, less ideal because you you can't really how do I say it? Sometimes you don't know where you are just because your character is not fully uh, animated, it's not fully displayed on the map. I think I think this game really does a good job in uh, displaying your character, like showing you exactly where you are. Okay, now on, uh, on that side, so there are two rooms here. Uh, there's so much to explore, plus some gold. Oh, there's the elevator. Nice, we found an elevator to the next floor. Okay. Uh, that's it. Ruby. Common Ruby. So you can see the difference in the common and rare. So plus 18% effect duration, plus 25% effect duration. They uh, both of them burns the target. Oh, this plant a bomb is by the ruby. So I don't think that bomb hits me. Does that bomb hit me? I have no idea. But there is, but for the rare one, there is a 32% burn damage. So instead of equipping that, of course, I'm not going to equip that. Since I have a rare ruby. Uh, so we can leave. So we have explored basically everything on the first floor. And let's go on to the second floor. Hey. Hey, we I, uh, okay. We don't get another staff, a stuffed animal. So these, they have a glass that blocks damage. But, of course, we have our uh, stuffed animal to block, to damage for, for us. And right now, oh, there is a cooldown on the stuffed animal. Okay, we might die very soon here. Okay, I think I need to at least find the next fountain to spend my gold and everything. Now I, I don't know if I if my uh what I was gonna say. I don't know if my equipment carry over do my equipments carry over after I die
Ah. I just have to rely on my stuffed animal to kill them. Because so the ghosts, uh, they always face towards you and they ignore your stuffed animal. Oh, here's the fountain. Um. Uh, Three essence and five hundred. So since that you can only use the fountain once, uh, sometimes it's op optional to explore the map a bit more to get more essence and more money so that you can uh, buy stuff. Uh, but uh, I think in this case uh, our health is too low here to keep going so I'm gonna go and uh, get some health and also spend uh, our our essence here it's a butterer one can understand how the master became so infatuated with them but instead of putting them to good use he twists them in a vain vain glorious attempt to achieve the impossible All right, so keep on spending the essence here. All right, let's buy. Oh, we don't get. Hmm, we don't get a uh, elf. All right, let's buy the bear. Oh, I, oh, we don't get both. Hmm. I guess not. So is there no way to expand my money? See more items? Ruby Polar Pack Nope Alright Guys, uh, I'm gonna call the video here uh, I have to go now so thank you guys so much for watching, uh, if you enjoyed this video please consider subscribing and I'll see you guys in the next Minerva video, bye for now.